Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Card uh, Design Concept. It's actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can just chat me up, okay? Uh, these are the list of uh, softwares we have covered on our YouTube channel and they are very much available on my Telegram platform where I teach people how to come about uh, their designs. All the softwares are available there, okay? Uh, where we teach for a token of 5,000 Naira in a group and then we teach okay for 25,000 Naira as an individual you want us to teach you one on one okay we'll teach you for a token of 5,000 Naira and all these softwares are actually available and all our video tutorials are actually available and we are much much more available online to guide you through the process until you attain mastery in the softwares okay uh, the link to my YouTube channel is actually down below the description of this video when you visit that uh, Channel you will find all of these videos are actually very much available on that platform Okay um, I've covered structural designs. I've covered road designs. Okay. I've covered water uh, Utilities water distributions and all, all are actually available on that uh, channel and then I've covered architectural working drawings and then I've covered electrical and mechanical service drawings. They are all available on my channel. Okay, visit that channel and actually keep yourself busy. Okay, uh, today I'm going to be taking you through ePanet. Okay, uh, I'm going to be introducing you to that uh, package. Um, now let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, this is your ePanet. Here you see you have your file. You can create a new. You can open if you have an existing. You can save. You can save as. You can import. Okay. Um, you can see you can import your map, your scenario. Okay. That sometimes you may have an uh, working drawing um, on your AutoCAD, for example. You can actually import that into this. Uh, ePanet okay page setup reference and all um, you can select object select region select all as you can see here here for your dimensions um, you can see here you can actually set uh, all of this um, for example you have your map and you know the correct uh, coordinate uh, you can actually input all of that value here okay and then place it whether it's in feet or it's in uh, meters or in degrees okay uh if you know the correct coordinates you can actually impute that value but just in case you don't know you can just walk here and later you uh, manipulate that okay um you can okay come back to my view uh, if I come to these options, you can see here we have uh, links, uh, labels, okay, uh, display map labels, okay, use transparent text, okay, you can either check these or uncheck these, uh, zoom at 100, okay, you can see your notations, uh, you can display the, all of this if you want it, okay once you click on this it's going to display uh, you display all your notes i'm going to take you through that process right now okay you can display the links values okay um, okay um, project your summary your default uh, here you can see your junctions, your reservoirs, your tanks, your pipes, your pumps, valves, patterns, curves. Okay. Uh, here you can see the ID prefix. I can decide to uh, make my ID to be J, maybe dash one, for example. Okay. I can actually make it that way, and my increment is one. Okay. Um. Okay, and I make it an increment of one. Um, 
now making it as an increment of one that is if i have one if i have junction one the next junction is going to be junction two so it's just going to be at an increment of one one okay uh you can actually add all of those ids to uh all of this okay and then when you come down to your properties uh your node elevations okay you just specify you can see this is uh the default uh, elevations and uh, the diameter of the tank uh, the tank height and the pipe length okay uh, now on this uh, on this uh, O2 O2 length this is used when you have a background map okay when you have a background map and you are tracing over the background over the background and you set it up properly you can use auto length okay to set uh, the pipe length okay so this auto length as you can see here is off if I turn it on okay uh, then I'm going to leave it at off okay and then the pipe diameter uh, this is the pipe roughness okay um, all of these can be changed you change them to suit uh, your design whatever that you are actually designing for okay i'm going to be showing you an example we're going to take a sample on our next uh, video okay on our next uh, uh, my next video i'm going to be showing you an example on how you can actually use this properly today i'm just going to be introducing this software to you uh, when you come down to your hydraulics okay here you see you have your here the model actually uses the SR unit or the English standard unit okay uh, if you click down here you see the list of them here okay uh, your G your GPM is actually your gallons per minute your MGP is actually million gallons uh, per day okay uh, if you go on and on you can see your CPF um, is actually cubic feet per second okay uh, you can use any of this uh, as a default for you okay to achieve your design okay uh, this flow uh, unit is not just for the flow in pipe but also for junction uh, demand okay it's also for whatever you choose here will actually be used for your junction demand as well uh here you can see here you can use uh the here you see the head loss formula um we have uh this is uh that of now the calculation of your head loss you can see uh you have here you have your hessing uh williams uh you can use your dusty west badge you can use your uh, mannings okay uh, you can use your chassis mannings you can now to for your calculation of your head loss okay now uh, the Hessen Williams uh, actually covers the water only okay uh, uh, the comparison of the friction uh, equations okay if you have to compare uh, the friction equations you discover the Hesse Williams actually covers only water, okay, and it's easy to get your C, okay, the smooth flow, and it's actually common in the US, okay, it's actually very, very common in the US. Then that's the West Batch, okay, covers all fluids, okay, covers all fluids, uh, but it's actually hard to get your F, okay, good for any roughness not common in the u.s okay in my next video i'm going to be showing you some big formulas okay these formulas or oh, you can just research on it yourself just go online and check on these formulas i, I just want to give you a brief explanation okay the mornings okay covers just the water waters only okay uh, it's easy to get your end okay uh, the rough 
flow and it's actually common in us especially when you're dealing with sewers okay so you can just make a uh, proper choice here on uh, your head loss formula uh, the gravity specific gravity relative viscosity okay the maximum trial um, here in my more advanced uh, tutorial I'm going to be showing you what you can actually do with your demand, uh, demand multiplier your emitter exponent, exponent status report and check frequency okay um, if you're already liking what you're seeing you like this why not like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free you see a red button down below the description okay click on other red button okay click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on the weekly sometimes on the daily so as to encourage as many that are trying to have a deeper insight of design okay make sure you visit my youtube channel is down below the description of this video the link to that channel is actually there okay um one thing you must know is that uh the ethernet is actually used for uh, to model the public water distribution system okay uh, okay and the inputs are uh, pipes junctions tanks reservoirs valve pumps calls like pumps controls values okay controls uh, water body information and model settings okay now you can do so many things with your ethernet the things you can uh, get out of it are the pressure okay the velocity the water quality uh, your reservoirs okay um, water quality uh, sorry result okay uh, the software can actually be used for master planning operational planning different scenarios okay operational uh, how to run your water uh, quality okay the water quality modeling uh, you can test uh, pump stations uh, designs you can do fire flow simulations okay with it okay uh, the user guide is actually very much available online okay the epnet uh, is very very much available online as well okay um, you can uh, register with us and then we'll guide you through the process on how uh, you can get this uh, material okay we can give you this material we can send the epnx to you as well okay or you can get it online okay but if you want us to spare you the stress why not come register with us and then we'll guide you through the process okay i'm going to be using the user's guide okay to guide you through uh, the process of this whole tutorial okay um yeah, just let me just briefly show you some of uh, the things here you know once you just drag your cursor to each of these you see this is for uh, your selection okay to select an object you can see select a region you can pan okay you can pan as you can see you can zoom in and out uh, you can extend that's just this zoom this is in out this is full extent um, this is to add a junction maybe I want to add a junction you can see uh, add a reservoir this is a reservoir this is a tank uh, this is a pipe I can just uh, Okay, this is to add a pump. Okay, add valve and add labels. Okay, um, so if you find this interesting, make sure you like this video. Okay, um, here if you come here, you can see this is a drop down menu. 
you have your junction reservoir tanks pipes and then uh, i'm going to stop here on this video make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed okay watch out for my next video where i'm going to be guiding you through on how to uh design okay using your epa net